Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going over yet another deadly set combination. Now, this set combination is already pretty viable. It's pretty pretty okay. But here in five weeks, when we get the new patch, oh my god. This is going to be absolutely best in slot for a lot of classes. So, without further ado, fellas, let's hop right into it. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. And before we get into the bread and butter, man, I'm making myself hungry already. It's early this morning. <laughs> In today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons. This channel would not be possible without you guys. Like, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all the support you're providing to this channel. Also, guys, I did not have enough clips for PvP Top 5 this week. So please do me a favor. Do us a favor, fellas. Send your clips to horcruxeso at yahoo.com. I also have a card in the top right hand corner of your screen showing you guys how to do so if it is unclear. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. We'll keep this a little bit shorter than the last one. So as you guys know, that's my dog in the background. Wonderful. As you guys know that there are a lot of changes coming uh, here about five weeks i'm pretty sure everyone is pretty much done with this patch they're over it like they they they, they ninja nerf rothgar you know a few other little tweaks uh, dk is still dog shit because fossilize and leap uh, has a targeting bug issue the harmony bug issue there's a lot of issues okay guys but what we can talk about is sets that I think you guys need to have now going into the next patch. So the very first set I want to go over here, guys, I did mention it in my medium armor build, or well, not build video, but video about uh, having medium armor sets. I knew this was a slept on set, but it's going to be even more potent now is Deadly Strike. So as of right now, Deadly Strike by itself, it increases your weapon damage, weapon critical, weapon damage, and also you gain a 18% damage boost to, boost to your channel abilities and damage over time abilities. Now, this gets changed. The reason Deadly Strike isn't super viable right now is that if you're a stamina class and you're trying to run dot build, you're gonna get shit on. If you're if you're a stamina class and you're not like a bursty boy, like straight up bursty boy, then you're gonna have issues. That's why this isn't too viable. There, there's nothing to really Dot damage is super underwhelming right now. But this is getting the hybridization treatment. And what do I mean by that? That means anything that gives weapon critical or spell critical or weapon damage or spell damage would now be considered and. So you'll now get weapon damage and spell damage, weapon critical and spell critical. So this set is going to be pretty crazy, not going to lie. Uh, they did tune down the 5-piece the to a 15%, I believe. So going into the next patch, you're going to get uh, weapon spell damage, weapon spell critical, weapon spell damage, and then the 15% the bonus. This pairs super well with a lot of classes, even right now, okay? On the, the Stam DK. The Necro actually has a passive that makes your dots do 15% more damage, which is super slept on by a lot of people. And also that dot damage increases your heavy lightning attacks. Keep that in mind, guys. Heavy lightning attacks stack off dot damage. Don't know why, but it does. So this frees up a lot of viability when it comes to, like, Magicka classes. Imagine Deadly Strike on a Mag DK, right? A Templar. This shit is going to be insane. Uh, Magden probably has the, the heaviest hitting dot with Fetcher Infection in the game. So having this viability for those classes is amazing. Now, with all that being said, there's purges in the game. There's there, there's a couple of handfuls of them. So dots by themselves are not going to make or break you in a PvP situation or like a 1vx, right? So you need something to coincide with that. And no, I'm not talking about Icy Conjure to boost up the dot damage. No, I'm not talking about Oblivion's Foe to, to boost up your Soul Trap. All those, those are pretty good alternatives, you know, kind of to pair with this. You know, assuming your your enemies or whoever you're going up against does not have a purge, which they 90% of the time will if you're in Cyrodiil. The other set that you need to kind of count, combat the weaknesses of running something like Deadly Strike is, lo and behold, Plague Break. So Plague Break uh, hasn't really gone through like any changes at all. Uh, it's a set you, you can get right now. It's kind of underwhelming, but sometimes overwhelming. You don't really notice the set going off. Never have I been on my death recap and been like, man, Plague Break hit me for 10k. This, is, this shit is broken. But 
What this does is, let's go ahead and go over the, the set bonuses. Two piece offensive penetration, wonderful. Three and four is weapon and spell damage. And then the five piece dealing direct damage literally from any source makes everyone to be a, a plague bear. Now they do take a, you know, X amount of disease damage, uh, which is approximately 10,000 damage over 10 seconds if you have kind of, kind of an average build. And then if it's ever purged for whatever reason, the explosion deals an additional 10% damage. Plus uh, it does, it does a shit ton when it explodes. It, it, it does like 11, 12k when it explodes. And then in Cyrodiil, it's like half. So, you know, and, and then it stacks on how many people's, you know, around it. And then, of course, if you spec into it, you can make this hit really hard, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, the reason you're go going to want to run Plague Break, if you do have a really dot intensive heavy build, Plague Break, yes, it gives you like a little baby dick dot, a baby dick dot, cool, but... If they purge your dots, which is like the only counter, you're, you're going to marinate everyone in your dots. It doesn't matter what kind of build you're running, right? I, I'm really wanting to run this on Mag DK. It's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. So, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, right? So, Plague Break can reapply literally like, like, like every second. It's incredible. So, if you have people marinating in your dots, and you hit Plague Break on them, which you will, if they purge that... That's going to do hella damage each and every single time they purge it. And in my opinion, it's actually more beneficial to you because you're going to be outputting a lot more damage consistently, assuming they keep purging Plague Break, which will happen. Okay, so they have one or two choices. They can either marinate in your dots or take a chance of constantly purging them, you know, running the risk of bursting their little ball group. All right. So this set pairs really, really well with Deadly Strike. Not only that, you can run this on a front bar, back bar setup as well. It's pretty phenomenal. Now, some of the mythic items coming out don't really coincide or synergize really well with these. But of course, old trusty Malakanth ban will also bolster these effects. You're not really too worried about the crit. You're more worried about the ongoing dot pressure. So deadly strike and plague break is going to be such a great set combination and then with that you can pair whatever monster set you want if you feel like you're lacking sustain run eg if you want you know more damage over the 20 seconds you can run uh, battle battle orgs you know so it's entirely up to you guys what you run, want to run for the monster set but the three sets definitely plague break and deadly strike and malakanth is going to be phenomenal next patch again it may not be too viable this patch because it's only viable on stamina classes. And let's be real, guys. Stamina classes just don't run dots right now. You have to burst people. So hopefully this is pretty insightful for you guys. Go ahead and get a set of this. It's pretty pretty easy to get. I would suggest getting it now uh, rather than later because it's going to be kind of hard to get it later, I'm sure. So anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider leaving the channel a like and sub, but only do so if you actually enjoy the content, okay? Even if you leave a dislike, it helps out the YouTube algorithm. So to you haters out there, thank you very much for supporting the channel. <laughs> With all that being said, guys, you all have a great rest of your evening and enjoy the weekend. Peace.